Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will consider an integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln of cosine of x divided by tangent of x dx. Alright, so uh, since we have ln of cosine of x, let's get rid of that ln. So let's introduce a substitution cosine of x equals e to the minus y. When we differentiate both sides, we get this expression and minuses cancel each other out and we get that dx is e to the minus y over sine of x dy. We also need boundaries so from here we will have that y is equals minus ln of, of cosine of x. Alright so let's continue here. When we plug in 0 cosine of 0 is 1 but ln of 1 is 0. So it stays this. When we plug in cosine of pi over 2, it's 0. But ln of 0 is minus infinity. With minus, we get plus infinity. So here we have infinity. We have ln of e to the minus y here. Uh, this expression turns out sine over cosine. So we have cosine of x here divided by sine of x and multiply it with e to the minus y dy over sine of x. So we have sine of x times sine of x. What's that? That's sine squared of x. And what do we know? Sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So sine squared of x is nothing but 1 minus cosine squared of x. And we know that cosine of x is e to the minus y, so this equals 1 minus e to the minus 2y. Alright, and cosine of x, what's that? It's just e to the minus y. So let's plug it all in. This equals an integral from 0 to infinity. ln, sorry guys, let me, we don't need ln anymore. We get minus y, e to the minus y times e to the minus y dy. And here, we have 1 minus e to the minus 2y. Alright guys, so what can we do now? Well the, well, the only thing we can do is expand the bottom part into a series. So let's do that. So we will take minus in the front. So we will have an integral from 0 to infinity. Series going from n equals 0 to infinity. e to the minus 2y n e to the minus 2y, y dy. We get e, e to the minus 2y from this one, from this part. And now we can interchange the sum and the integral. Uh, now what do we get? Minus sum going from n equals 0 to infinity. Integral from 0 to infinity. e to the minus 2y times 1 plus n, if I'm not mistaken, y, y times dy. Now we will introduce a substitution. Which one? Well, we will use a substitution 2y times 1 plus n equals k dy to 1 plus n dy equals dk. So dy is nothing but dk over 2 times 1 plus n. And we also need this in terms of y, so y equals k over 2 times 1 plus n. So when y is 0, we get 0. When y is infinity, we get infinity, so we get uh, minus sum going from n equals 0 to infinity of an integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus k y is just k over 2 times 1 plus n and this times dk over 2 times 1 plus n and now when we solve this out let's see what we get we get minus a sum going from n equals 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus k K, and we can put these 
these things in the front so it is just 4 times n plus 1 squared what we have here and you can do this by one partial uh, partial integration but I will notice that this is gamma of 1 and it's just 1 factorial so what we are left out with I will take minus 1 over 4 in the front sum equals n equals 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 squared and if we move indexes 1 in the front we will get minus 1 over 4 times the sum going from 0 to infinity 1 over n squared and this is a uh, sorry guys I didn't change the I didn't change the summation and this is just a basal problem so we all know this is equal pi squared over 6 and so this all together equals minus pi squared over 24 all right guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe if you want to see more of this and see you in the next video bye guys